Hi, I'm Josiah. And I'm Colin. And this is Worth Watching. Alright, so the movie we're going to be reviewing tonight is... Hey, camera. Yeah, of course there's a camera. No, I mean, over there, camera. There's one over there, too. Right over there. there. And there. And there. And over here. Must be in London. Alright, so the movie we're reviewing tonight is Closed Circuit, starring Eric Bana and Rebecca Hall. Uh, it takes place in London, centered around this big terrorism trial where a large van loaded with explosives blew up, killing 120 people. So they are assigned to be the defense lawyers for the man accused of masterminding the whole terrorist operation. Problem is, there are a lot of people within the government who really want to see him convicted and will do anything at all costs to see this man convicted. And on top of all that, Eric Bana and Rebecca Hall's characters, before the events of the movie, were romantically involved with each other. They had an affair, uh, which means that that makes their job very difficult for each other, uh, involving the secrecy and the events and the, what their conduct is supposed to be with each other. So what did you think of the movie? I thought it was really good. I really liked the realistic aspect of it. The characters were great. Yep. And all around, it was actually a really good movie, different from a lot of other courtroom drama movies. Right, yeah. And it's kind of scary to think, but I could actually see something like this actually taking place. Right, yeah. There was a lot of elements of it that felt similar to sort of to sort of a lot of issues that we're kind of dealing with in present day that really captured that. It wasn't it so bold in its plot that you right. almost felt, eh, this is kind of questionable. I don't know if we're capable of this. No, it really right. felt real. Yeah, it, 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 it played it in a sort of subtle way. Yeah. Yeah. I felt really drawn in yeah. to the movie. Yeah, I mean, that's... I think a lot, of, a lot of movies with a similar tone involving conspiracies and things like that involve something so large to a degree where there's, you know, things happening where you're like, yeah. okay, this is, I'm watching a movie. Yeah. Whereas, like you said, I think it's, it's true that the movie kind of really stayed really grounded and stayed to stayed localized enough that it felt like yes this actually could possibly transpire so then what did you think about I really liked it I mean for a lot of the reasons you said I thought it was really good um, it had like you said really good plot good characters um, I really I always like Rebecca Hall and everything I see her and I mean yeah. I've seen her in the prestige and in the town but I mean that one of the issues I had with the film was that like I just I complimented its subtlety but I feel like it's drawn out a little too much. There's some stuff that happens earlier in the movie that feels like it just takes too long to get going, uh, and then things feel a little too compressed in the middle, and then kind of feel a little drawn out towards the end and don't really wrap up quite as well as I would like. So do you have any favorite parts, anything favorite in the movie at all? Yeah, I did. I really enjoyed that court scene with Rebecca Hall and the the one that um, it was all closed in, the public uh -huh. didn't have any access. In this court scene, Rebecca Hall gives a really big bold speech hit. She's interrogating one of the antagonists. Yeah. And it just, like, it just kept progressing. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, this is going to get really good. And you just felt the thrill and excitement after that speech. Right, yeah. I mean, and to agree, like, I liked the scene. I liked what it did for the pacing of the film uh, and kind of progressing it into the more intense portion of the film. But I thought... Again, I like the subtlety of the film, and I thought that yeah. that speech kind of almost detracted from it a little bit. I thought it was a little too bold. It felt a little more like some 1990s TV movie at that point. One of the things I thought the movie really did handle well was sort of that like romantic affair backstory of the two main characters. Yeah, it re they really did do a good job there. It, um, it was very subtle. Yep, yeah. They didn't overdo it. It didn't feel like paranoia where it was like... Here, they are in love. <laughs> yeah. Love me. Right, exactly. In, in Paranoia, they just force this into yeah. your face where it's like, it doesn't make sense. Here, it really works with the plot and gives it the characters a, a springing off point from where, it, like... And it kind of helped... It gave you just enough to help you almost understand kind of where they're coming from. Right, yeah. And I mean, like, there's a scene in there where they're talking to each other in this court lunchroom. Yeah. Um, and the way they're talking is really... You know, like the type of talk that like exes, exes have with each yeah. other, which works really well because in a lot of these dramas where you have either like the the rookie cop and the new cop are different people paired together and they don't want to be together, it's just kind of like, well, I just don't like them. This one, they have sure. a reason not to like each other because exactly. they're they're exes. They're not supposed to be there. It just it it works. And really they're well. also supposed to not. They're also not supposed to talk to each other. Right. So what would you give a movie on like a you know A through F? I want to give it an A, but I almost feel like it's too much mm -hmm. to give. So I'm going to give it a B. Yeah, I would give it 
I like the plot. But a very of the movie. good B. Yeah. I like the plot of the movie. I like the acting. I had some issues with the pacing. I had a couple different scene issues, just some minor stuff. Um, I'd give it probably a low B. Um, just for all those reasons I mentioned, but I think overall it was good and definitely yeah. worth watching. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It was definitely an entertaining movie. Yeah, for so sure. Go watch it. Yeah. All right. We will see you next week. Have a good night. Bye.